Hello and the show name is here and welcome to a new horror game called Black Rose. Now I have played some of this game to get become familiar with it. And um uh so far it is creepy. And um uh <clears throat> Uh, I found this game on Steam because, you know, I just roam around on Steam to find free games because I'm really cheap. And I don't have money on there. But, um, basically I found it and, um, it looked really nice. And, uh, so I thought I might as well make another horror game video because I think I need more horror on my channel. Okay. I haven't gotten like far ahead to the point where it's like oh now I know the whole game like I've gone to where I haven't really seen anything that scary like I've just gone to the point where I got pretty creeped out but besides that not much okay let's see what is in here fireplace is there anything in the fireplace? Yes, yeah, shift is running, not crouching. Um, visitation. Oh, so you need two keys for that. Star. Oh, it does open. Okay, that's locked. Pretty window. Um. Let's see. Is someone else here? Nah, I just hear laugh. It's completely normal to hear laughing by yourself, of course. It's warped pretty badly. I don't think I'd be able to get open. Okay, warped door. As to the family room, so. The nice place has a weird door. Chapel. Nope. Because apparently every door needs a key because there's people that actually care to go to a haunted place. Uh, yep, yeah, this is where we started off. Oh god. <laughs> Just thinking of what is going to happen or might happen is scary. So basically, the whole score thing on the top right corner, that is based off of, um, well, <clears throat> it's based off of, uh, how close you are to a certain monster or something like that, and, um, the score goes even higher and higher the, the longer you're near said monster, and, oh, uh, if you stay by the monster too quickly too long then he's you know catches you or whatever and stuff goes down run around in this random room I'm not gonna pick that thing up yet. Cause, like, pretty much right after reading that was where I was. And, uh, let's see. It's jammed, but I might be able to force it open. I would need to ram it a couple times. Okay. Great.
First of all, this game is like really high quality. Second of all, I'm playing at night, so this is gonna make me like <laughs> really, really wimpy. Yep, that thing breaks open. Then what's this? Oh my god. Oh, yeah. Oh, it looks pretty. It looks very pretty. Oh god, this sounded so dumb. Uh, there's a baby monitor here. Strange. Yeah, I know. Place where you find dead people, you find freaking baby monitor. No? Fine. And then I have to read the freaking notes. Boss says not to go near Myrtle's coffin. Why won't the grave digger bury it anyway? It's not like Boss says it. It's not like what Boss says is true. I mean, the dead can't really talk, can they? First of all, what the heck is up with the bottom right corner? Looks like someone smeared glue all over it or something. And also. Oh, I know what's gonna happen, it's really creepy. Downstairs. Dot dot dot. Who was that? Really? Let me guess. Why did everything become extra echoey? And I heard a clicking noise, like as if there was a door or something. First of all, I'd like to say this game is made really well. Second of all, I am such a huge wimp that I don't want to continue on at all. Hmm. Really good graphics. Okay. Going down the stairs like that creepy dude said. Ah, oh, this music does not help. Oh, so I can close it. I love playing with doors. Yes, heck. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention the uh, person who uh, who made this. Um, I'll uh, have his uh, name flashing on the screen, and uh, where I think he had a YouTube channel that was mentioned. But it was shown on the screen before, so I might as well show you it one more time. Wow, my person starts to wiggle around if you don't move. Yeah, I'm creeped out too. Not the only one, buddy. Oh, it might not be a dude. It might be some chick, but I'm pretty sure it's a dude. Wow, I like how I'm in a creepy downstairs area and uh, 
keep myself from like peeing my pants or whatever. I have to talk about whether this guy person gender is female or male. Okay, I am back. Um, I had to uh, go to sleep because I looked at the time and it was crazy. So yeah, let's continue. Supposed to be some kind of maze or something. Let's go to the other direction that we had from the start. Oh, great. Another note. Her eyes don't look her in the eyes great Okay, I guess I'll just go back upstairs. Oh god, that's the scary trick. Oh god. I didn't even turn around manually. Myrtle, I don't like you. Oh, really? Well, my score didn't go up, so... Uh...
certain doors locked, maybe certain doors open. No, that's the still pretty warped one. Oh god, come on, a chair. They stitched him back together. Well, I guess that's one way to fix someone or something. We just pulled back together with stitches. It worked really well. I'm gonna do some uh, quote unquote research and um uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. So this is Shadow Six Zero. Hope you enjoyed a bit of Black Rose. Pretty creepy and uh I will see you all later. Bye.